Hello everyone, in this video I will introduce my way to beat Japan as Mongolian. To be noticed that this video was recorded over a month ago until version 1.05, two weeks after the video that I beat Burgundy as France. But this strategy is probably still available for now. I will cut over long way to final victory into four stages. In stage one, as we know, Mongols are at the war with Menjiang, Japan's puppet at the very beginning. Although we don't need to fight the whole sphere for now, if this war continues, Japan will certainly intervene in six months. As for ourselves, we only have eight cavalry units. No guns or any equipment can be produced since factory output is lower than minus 100%. Fortunately, Mongolians still have some hope. After several tries, I found that only Japan and Manchuria will join this war. President Gao and his warlords will keep observing all the time. Maybe he is more interested in Tokyo's stock market. This feature ensures safety in our southern border. Besides, thanks to the proxy war system, Benjiang will not be a member of the sphere until it wins the war. So, AI Manchuria will draw a front line in its border against Benjiang. If we reach their border and AI haven't updated its strategy yet, then their front line will be automatically moved to provinces that still controlled by its original owner which is Menjiang, and will not draw a new front line against us. So after destroying all Menjiang's divisions, we can use this strategy to prepare for stage 2. Firstly, we deliberately hold its last victory point from capitulation, then tear the Manchurian front line from the middle to its two ends, but leave the last province alone. After that, Manchurian units located in the front line will be moved to the northern and southern corner instead of getting our way. Then we can deploy our cavalry and finally wipe out Manjiang, forcing Japan and uh, Manchu declaring war on us and bring us to stage 2. In stage 2, our only target is Manchu's capitulation. This is not an easy job, because we need to seize lots of VPs, including Shenyang, Xinjiang, Harbin, and Boli. It's recommended to save before you move into stage 2 and pray for the bless of Genghis Khan. But hopefully, because of our former preparation, we can step into Manchu straight A and quickly at start, and the equipment gained from the capitulation of Manjiang will finally follow us to deploy new divisions. And remember, our only task is to move into VPs as soon as possible, even if our homeland is being attacked or our troops are encircled.
Okay, now it takes a month for our invincible Mongolian cavalry to conquer Manchu. Meanwhile, most of Japanese army only managed to leave their homeland to arrive here. With the collapse of Manchurian government, people who are oppressed for so long finally have the chance to rise and help us cut the supply of these samurais. So it comes to stage three. In this stage, all we need to do is to detain Japanese troops as soon, no, as long as possible. They only have four ways to get out: Vladivostok, Korea, Dalian, and the mainland of China. Among them, the two ports are easy to capture in a short time, and China is still neutral. So Japan can only send in reinforcement troops from Korea, but the Korea Peninsula is also a good place to circle and destroy its enemies. As long as they are trapped in the Manchuria, they will slowly but inevitably starve to death.
After a long period of time and a lot of bloody battle, we finally managed to destroy nearly all of Japanese troops and moved into stage 4. We achieved this goal that Genghis Khan couldn't have done. And thanks to the Tsushima Tunnel project, even Kamikaze is not a problem. Nothing can stop us now. Let's march towards Tokyo.